Hello and welcome to Mad About Sports. Today we are here to with you to bring a very interesting video. And of course, as you all know, we are conducting a five-day workshop on cricket analytics. And if you are an aspiring cricket analyst who you want to work with an IPL team or any league team across the world, do check out our workshop. It could be a stepping stone to your long career. So without further ado, check the link in the description to avail the course. And today's workshop and today's uh, a video is also going to be on similar lanes. Today's video is all about how cricket analyst analytics have changed or revolutionized cricket in a very big way. As you all know, you know, analytics and all the data, the numbers have come to cricket very recently. And of course, one format which has been heavily number number heavy has been, of course, the cricket analytics and everything has been used in T20. T20 is one format which has really revolutionized cricket because now you're looking at numbers, you're looking at matchups, looking at how things have changed over a period of time. Now, to start off with, let's understand how numbers can really change cricket. Now, when you when you talk about numbers, is it just stats or is it what are the variables which comes along with it as well? Now, you talk about a player who wins matches for you. Number one, what you need to understand is, is he a most valuable player who can fit into your team? Or is he a player who is just a, a stat player? Because you use the word stat player because as per stats, he might be extremely good. But is he a true match winner for your team? That's exa exactly what we're going to talk about. Now, today, let's look at to start off with players who have been most valuable in IPL. Now, this is a very interesting st chart to start off with number one. Now, if you look at this list, these are a number of players who have won most number of matches. The match It's the most valuable players chart. In the why Chris Gale is on top of the chart. Chris Gale has won the most number of man of the matches in IPL. And man of the matches by taking his team single-handedly to victory more often than not. Why A.B. De Villis is number two on the list? A.B. De Villis is number two on the list. It's primarily because his impactful knocks have been heavily, heavily, uh, heavily helped the team to cross over the line more often than not. Whenever A.B. De Villis stays and bats through the innings, he helps his team to win more often than not. And he has been a pillar for Royal Challengers Bangalore over the years and he really helped Royal Challengers Bangalore out of many, many holes coming in tough situation. And now uh, my Mahindra Singh Dhoni and Rohit Sharma. Rohit Sharma might not be the most exuberant uh, IPL player, but his stats might not tell a story. But when it comes to his captaincy as well, you need to consider when it comes to most valuable player and the impact he makes whenever he plays a long knock is is invaluable over here. And similarly for Mahindra Singh Dhoni as well. Mahindra Singh Dhoni has played some of the most match-winning knocks. And of course, the list had to feature Suresh Rena, who is termed as Mr. IPL. Every time Suresh Rena plays those match-winning innings, he helps the team to cross over the line. And this is a list, especially when it comes to the top players with the most valuable impact in IPL. And of course, Chris Gale had to be there because Chris Gale has been the most impactful player as well. Now, let's understand how really this data really works. Around, right Now, when you're building a team for auction, what is the most important things you look in modern day? Number one, what you look at is, is he going to fit in the scheme of things? And if he's possibly performing in Australia, is he going to be performing in India as well? How good is he against spin? Can he tackle the spin? Now, I'll give you a very prime example of a player called Darcy Short. A lot of IPL teams went on a bidding war to get Darcy Short during 2018 season because he had a brilliant season with Hobart Hurricanes in the BBL. But come to India, he was really struggling to rotate strike against spin and he was called as an IPL failure. Similarly, for Jai Richardson as well. If you remember, before the 2021 IPL season, there was a lot of hype over Jai Richardson because he was a leading wicket taker in BBL. But come IPL, he was really uh, struggling to find the lengths especially when it comes to his landing, when it comes to pulling the right lengths in India. So these are some of the examples what you can see in terms of buying a team. And that's where you have to understand the impact of a player. Now, in modern day game, you're more often than not looking at the strike rate of a player. Maybe he might not be having the best of averages. And that's where you are looking at strike rate of a player and a cumulative average and strike rate and where you put it in a word called Besra. Besra is basically the best average and strike rate of a player. And that's where you need to understand a cumulative average strike rate of a player is what a player is judged upon before he's getting bought by any team in the IPL. Similarly, as an analyst, what you need to understand is to understand the weakness of your team and also strength of your team and understand a player profile. Every time you look into a player profile, is he the right fit for your team? For example, your team is filled with openers. Your team is filled with a lot of openers. 
So do you need a player who is much more suited batting the top order, or do you need a middle order finisher? This is where an analyst comes into play. How an analyst breaks down the strength and weaknesses of a team. Who is the right player to be fitting into uh, play a finisher's role? What is his range of shots? And especially while buying a player, you need to identify whether he's going to fit into the scheme of things in a larger way. Now, one of the prime examples of converting a player and helping him to play a bulldozer kind of a knock is Moin Ali. Moin Ali often for English team used to play a finisher's role. What Chennai identified in him is he used to play an opener top three kind of a role initially during his career. And Chennai gave him that free hand to go out there and play a tonker's role in the power play and whenever he used to come in the top order. That worked really well for them. In the successful campaign which they had in 2021, Moin Ali was one of the catalysts in terms of leading that momentum and helping the Chennai, helping Chennai team score at a very high strike rate during that middle overs phases. And this is where an analyst comes into play once again. Now, analysts can definitely identify the strength and weakness of a player. Now, what, I, what I'm going to bring you is, is it just that, can you identify any body postures, the way in which you are trying to play, uh, the kind of movements you have at the back? Now, if you look, when you have data points, now, if you remember, ICC also invented uh, a particular data metric which analysts, analysts can usually you know, in, uh, put it into their systems and identify the bat speed, identify the swing of the bat, identify the impact points. And this particular meet, particular metric which, they, which ICC in, integrated into the system was very helpful for understanding also body posters. Now, a player, uh, player's heading, head falling uh, be, be, uh, below the off stump, that is something which you need to understand as well. We often have spoken about head falling over, how it really impacts, how the weight of the body gets transferred. These are factors which can be also measured through data. And that is where analyst again comes in. Analyst perceives this data and gives it to the coaches. Then coaches then corrects that particular body posture of the player. Nowadays, a performance analyst of a team is as big as a coach of a team. And can a performance analyst be a coach? Of course, a performance analyst can be a coach as well because all this, a performance analyst if you have any experience in cricket, that always adds that extra bit of value. And of course, a lot of performance analysts these days have worked and have got licensing in coaching as well, which which ex which exactly helps them to have that pushover to make a career as a coach as well. Now, if you have if you if you understand data and if you also understand sense of cricket, that is an extreme amount of bonus. For example, Nathan Lehman. Who is Nathan Lehman, and how did he become such a good performance analyst for England? And England have. England have had a great, great time under Nathan Lehman as a performance analyst. He was a maths professor. He took up the job as the analyst of the English cricket team. And now look how consistent white ball team has uh, England become over the last seven years or so. And that is a prime example of even without a cricketing knowledge, even without a cricketing background, you still can be an extremely good analyst. You still can play with the numbers, you know, actually perceive the numbers, break down the numbers and give it to the coach and help the team to benefit in the larger scheme of things. We've already done a video on how Nathan Lehman have changed cricket. Similarly, I'll tell you a story of how players and how, how it has been for uh, English team and how it has been for a particular player. Today, I'm going to bring a case study of Shreyas Iyer. Why Shreyas Iyer has been uh, taunted with bouncers time and time again every time he goes into play. You know about Shreyas Iyer's weakness against bouncers and now the entire world knows about it. Every person who watches cricket knows that Shreyas Iyer has a major issue with bounce. Now, this particular picture is from the English series, the last test match between England and India, which was played in 2022. The fourth test match was played in 2021. There was a 10-month-long gap, and the last test match was played in 2022, whereby Shreyas Iyer also was part of the team. Now, in this particular series, what happened was Brendan McCullum from the dressing room. Who was Brendan McCullum? Brendan McCullum was the coach of the KKR team. And as per the numbers, Shreyas Iyer has got a clear deficiency against bounces. How is this broken down? An analyst understands, sees, goes through the videos of Shreyas Iyer's struggle against bounces and clearly says whenever the ball is ball on his body, Shreyas Iyer tries, uh, tries to either duck or tries to go for a hook shot, which he is not very comfortable of. In that particular in that particular, uh, particular innings, Shreyas, it was told by Brendan McClellan from the dressing room to ball shot to him. And Shreyas Iyer fell on both of the innings by playing uh, by getting out of a short ball. And there is a, this is a clear example of how a player's weakness is identified primarily by the data analyst. Now, how does variables come into factor over here? The various data points are a pattern which you kind of observe. Now, you talk about Virat Kohli's weakness outside the off term. Now, if you have noticed for Mumbai Indians, when Virat Kohli comes into bat, Mumbai Indians against RCB, Mumbai Indians always keeps a gully when Virat Kohli comes into play. Why is that? That's primarily because Virat Kohli's go-to shot to get off the mark or, uh, or to take a single is dab 
down to the third man. Now, what Mumbai has done on many of the occasions was to keep uh, a player near the gully region, not really a short third man, but a player near the gully region so that Virat Kohli does not get that easy single to get off the mark. Because Virat Kohli is a player who's a busy player. He doesn't like to stay in the crease and consume a lot of balls. He wants to get uh, rotate the strike, keep going. And that is where Mumbai is trying to find it. For example, a very simple, I'll give you another prime example of how uh, Suresh Reina had a very similar issue like Shreyas Ayer. How was it identified and how did Suresh Reina's career came to a slump? Suresh, uh, Suresh Reina was actually dominating cricket from that phase of 2011 to 2015. Now, in between this phase, when data, data analysts and data numbers, everything started having a complete rise in cricket as well. You saw that grow over a period of time. And that's when Suresh Reina was completely exposed as well to short pitch bowling. I, if you remember the series where uh, he played in Australia, where he was... Uh, the test match where he played in Australia, he was completely bamboozled by pace and bounce. And come the World Cup again, he was troubled with the short pitch balling in 2015. And that's where Suresh Rana's numbers started sliding down. Then he then he was out of the Indian team. Then he certainly couldn't make a comeback because his weakness and he did not improve on it as well. It was all over the world. The world really goes around pretty quickly. Similarly, there are players who struggle against uh, matchups. What is matchups all about? For example, a batter who have struggled against the baller. Now, we spoke about a certain weakness a batter has. Now, how does matchup get identified? A performance analyst. We have seen that with the... We've seen that uh, Nathan Lehman is a prime example of how he uses different pluck cuts to say that this is a matchup to be used against a particular bat batter. For example, 2B, 3A. You see this kind of number is being pulled out by the English team from the dressing room. How does it work? Now, I'll give a prime example of Hasananga versus Sanju Samson. Hasananga has dismissed Sanju Samson close to six times in... Uh, all forms of cricket. And that's primarily because Sanju Samson's numbers against leg spin, especially googly kind of a bowling of Hasaranga has been, uh, has troubled Sanju Samson for the longest period of time. And whenever Sanju Samson now walks into bat, you will see against Sri Lanka or against RCB, what happens is there's a, the captain always goes to Hasaranga and Hasaranga is a go-to man for a captain to play by telling him that ball to Sanju Samson because you got a better number against him. Similarly, you have seen whenever Virat Kohli used to struggle. Whenever, Virat Kohli, when he went for that tour for the second time to England in 2018, Virat Kohli walked into bat and the first baller who was brought in was Jimmy Anderson because the numbers against Jimmy Anderson wasn't great for Virat Kohli, in England especially. So the numbers and matchups is also a prime factor when you consider. And Tim Southey was a road Sharma is another example. Road Sharma has been dismissed for more than 10 times by Tim Southey in all forms of cricket. And so you can see whenever India plays New Zealand, Tim Southey is a go-to baller against Rohit Sharma because Rohit Sharma tends to struggle against Tim Southey up front as well. So these are the numbers. That's why you say matchup. Matchup is a very big uh, factor. And this, again, it goes on to analysts identifying the pattern and the similar baller a batter has gotten out most to. And now, how do you store this number? An analyst is a person who stores all these numbers, breaks down all these numbers, and uses these numbers to the effect of the team. And that is where if you are aspiring to be an analyst, this really opens up a lot of avenues for you. And if you're a numbers man who really likes to interpret numbers, who really likes the numbers of the game, because in cricket, you see a lot of variables and numbers. Is it just with? Is it just the uh, analyst who works with the team? Nowadays, analysts are also used by broadcasters. Now you can understand how does all these numbers come so, so easily available to all of the public and why are we able to interpret it? It is the broadcasters and analysts who work with the broadcasters who are able to give these numbers, break down the same numbers which an analyst in the team has and provide to broadcasters and broadcasters make different segments on them, understanding similar like what we are right now making. But they make uh, break down these numbers and understand how these players can improve out of it. Broadcasters, uh, teams, a, per a person who really looks after the, uh, the... Even in ICC, you look at these numbers in terms of setting up pitches. Even uh, analysts can be used as a pitch curator as well in certain governing bodies. Because you understand a pitch has been... Uh, how does a pitch play out? How what is a what is a perfect measure? What is the perfect variables in this? That's how how that's how dependent cricket has been for analysts. And of course, there's avenue with more leaks coming up. Of course, the avenues open up for analysis. And of course, if you're a data analyst, if you want to work as a cricket cricket performance analyst as well, that really opens up various opportunities for you to try out. And of course, teams are looking for young and aspiring analysts with a certain amount of experience as well. If you have zero experience or zero background in cricket, and if you still can interpret numbers in the best way, you still can make a career out of it. Because all these websites, everybody wants a cricket analyst and a data uh, a data analyst because they because numbers is what cricket is all about now. Now, if you know the stats pretty well and if you know how to interpret stats pretty well, you can be a complete genius and you can make a career out of it. And that's where Matterbot Sports is ready to help you to bring about your aspir aspirations by conducting a workshop. And if you are wanting to avail that, 
you can try it out the link is in the bio because the five day course and of course you can learn a lot of things in terms of interpreting data using python using just a bare excel sheet as well and you can be a completely uh having that extreme good career in terms of cricket analytics and this could be a stepping stone in your career as well so do check out the course in the description and have a good time all of you thank you for watching the video and do share and also subscribe to our channel because we can keep bringing you all these insightful videos and some interesting trivias in the coming day